Hey, YouTube. It's trucking. As I said, I bring you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the bonehead mistakes that I even make. I'm sitting here in Waterloo, Iowa. Did a drop this morning, and I've got another load to pick up right around the corner. So I come to this Loves, and there's like 45 spots. I'm busy this morning. So in attempting to back in, I touched this guy's deer guard. But it left a little pop mark. He gets out of the truck. <clears throat> nice guy. He said, you know, you hit my truck. It's like, did I really? Because in my mirror, it didn't look like I, I did it. But after I kind of like pulled forward, I saw it like catch it. I could, you know, the scratch marks about the size of my, my finger now. But all in all, his camera went off, his system went off, and which prompted him getting a call from his company. So we ended up exchanging our information. I'm a little down about it, but you know what? It's okay, you know, you move on. Nobody got hurt. Nobody lost any cargo. More importantly, nobody got hurt. That's first and foremost, you know. But to come to expect that these things, these situations will come up. You know, in hindsight, should have been a little bit more careful, absolutely. But there's absolutely no, no, not even a scratch mark on my on the trailer that I use. So you got to go through the prompts, and um, you know we exchange information. I let fill in an accident report. He did his thing, and uh, he's like, "Dude, I, I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even bother me." But since the system went off, he, you know, he got a call from the company. They told him to get information. As he said, they're not going to even do anything about it. So, you know, Prime is going to take the $500 from me, I believe. And as long as the other company doesn't file for it or do anything about it, I believe it's three months, I'll get that money back. Now, I haven't been notified yet that they're going to take any money. And they may not. You know, they may not. Who knows? I don't know how these things work. It's the first time something like that's happened, and uh, so I'm just sharing it with with my with my on YouTube, letting you know that things are going to happen. No matter how careful you are, things are going to happen. Can I go back and in, in hindsight and say I should have done this? I should have done that. Absolutely, but the damage is done. And again, more importantly, no one got hurt. The damage is very, very minimal. I mean, a little spray of some silver paint will cover it all up. And uh, if I tell you it's a graze, it's a graze. Anyway, I don't want to beat the horse too much with it, but I had a little incident in the parking lot of Loves today. I've been hit more times than I hit somebody else. And my mirror, side of my mirror is all scratched up because somebody hit it come to expect if you're going to be a truck driver the, the amount of time that we spend on the road something is going to happen whether it's going to happen to you or you do it to them so you got to just pick yourself up by the boot buckles don't let, don't let it shake your confidence and you move down the road and you move down the road so I'm actually waiting for a shower I just came back from a three mile walk this place is super duper busy. There's got to be some. I know there's a big gold store, a couple cold storages, because I'm going to one tonight. But this place is, is jammed up since I got here at 10 o'clock this morning, and it just doesn't stop. They need they need to make this place a lot bigger than what it is. 45 spots is just not enough. When you've got acres and acres of barren land over to my right side and over to the left and behind me 
but whatever it is what it is you got to deal with what you got to deal with and uh, so I just kind of wanted to share share my episode like I said I always will bring you the good the bad the ugly um, the good news is I'm gonna go on and make money I'm gonna continue with driving down the road and moving forward I don't look in the, I don't stare in the past I learn from it and you move forward um, and that's my advice to anybody who's coming into trucking or isn't trucking when you have a little no matter how big or how small an incident might be you just brush it off and you move on you can't let it eat you alive you know because I want a perfect record you know? everything about me is I try to do the best I can to my ability and at the end of the day what I've come to realize over the course of time is that you only can give your best and if your best is not good enough at least you know you can lay your head down know that you did your best and there's always room for improvements right so you always you're always going to constantly learn and you're going to face challenges you know that's the bottom line trucking is a very rewarding career but it's got it's you know it's got it's challenges and sometimes you have a bad day whether you know something happens as far as an accident or you get called into a way station and they do an inspection and you fail an inspection don't let it you know beat yourself up don't just move on again if you can learn from the mistake you become a better driver and as time goes on you become a better driver now again backing is a challenge this place is not it's got room I'm not going to make any excuses but it's tight there's trucks on top of trucks there's trucks waiting for you there was three trucks waiting for me to back up so there's a little pressure there but I don't let that bother me you know the bottom line is my angle was not a good angle the other part of it too is and I thought about it my wheels my tandems are too far up you back the farther back your tandems are the less to swing so if I, a, if I had a less of a swing probably that wouldn't have happened but it wouldn't have happened if I paid better attention to um, what I was doing so the onus is on me the fault's on me I did it no one else did it and uh Carry on, carry on. All right, so folks, just wanted to share that with you. Big H had a little bit of a nick today. But we're going to move on. Big H is always going to move on down the road. All right, until next video, stay safe, make good decisions, stay healthy.